So why wouldn't we reach a point where someone invents a machine that can travel faster than the speed of light? That is definitely going to happen. And that speed barrier is the only thing keeping us from breaking the code of time travel. What I'm trying to say is that someone somewhere is definitely going to build a time machine. And chances are it'll be someone with a ton of money and an irrational desire to go back to the past and see or change things. So this, guys, is my sketchbook. It's just very simple, spirally bound, A5. It has one of these elastic bands which makes sure it stays flat and it stays compressed in case I use watercolours and there's warping. Um, and it has a lot of pages, which was, I think, one of my biggest requirements. So let's open this baby up. <laughs> and the first page, as you can see, there is no perfection in this like you cannot expect your sketchbook to be perfect in any way um because it is for you to ruin so it's like one of those um what are those books called ruin this book Ugh. wreck this journal that's the one <laughs> it's a wreck this journal but you make it all and as you can see i love shoes a lot i even draw shoes i dream of shoes um <laughs> and some watercolors oh this bleed by the way is a koi um coloring brush pen something like that those are the heavyweights of brush pens just some portraits just this was at the beginning of my artistic revival where I was just learning how to draw from my imagination and that kind of stuff so there's a lot of experimental work in this one book um, so one thing you want to remember is that your book is a judgment free zone all right, so there is no deciding whether or not something looks good. There is no telling if something is going to be a final drawing. This is just somewhere to let your stream of consciousness flow. Okay, you can use references. You can copy. I have no idea what the hell that is. But <laughs> you can copy other people's work because it's for practice. And I like to go onto Pinterest and do a lot of like gesture poses and figure out how um, the human body works in certain ways. So that is basically what I do with my sketchbook. So here you can see I was learning some foreshortening with the arm there. Um, and so it's like somewhere where you can upgrade your skills without having to put that pressure on yourself to complete a certain drawing or to make a final piece of work that you can sell or anything crazy like that so this is the pose i used for my painting of a koye by the way from black panther uh which i have in the top right corner i'm very proud of that piece <laughs> so this is where you experiment with your style as well i like realism obviously if you've seen any of my work you'll see that it is very real or inspired by real life Having said that, this is also where you can try someone else's style, see if that works for you, because that is kind of how we figure out what we're into, what we like. So here you see I'm trying different styles of drawing noses and eyes and mouths. Here I tried some cross-hatching, which is not for me, by the way. <laughs> and so it's it's just somewhere where you experiment. Think of this like your college phase. You know, you don't know what you're going to end up with. Hopefully it's a 2-1 honours degree, <laughs> but you're not entirely sure. And I guess that's the charm of having a sketchbook. So the other thing I want to bring about is that this is the perfect place to practice some thumbnailing. So thumbnailing is when you aren't sure about a composition, which you, if you don't know anything about composition, watch episode two of the series. Composition is just the story you're weaving for your drawing. But thumbnailing is where you try a bunch of different compositions in a tiny format. So I don't think I have any examples in this particular sketchbook, 
but you want to try and see how the arrangement works and how um, the drawing flows before you actually get into an actual piece. Um, and of course, this is a good place for all of your drills with um, episode one where I spoke about all the little drills I like to do before I start drawing. Sometimes I just do it on rough pieces of paper, but if I know I'm going to be sketching, I usually do my drills within my sketchbook itself. Oh, this, by the way, is a really lovely piece, but I have no idea what's going on with that mouth there. But I really liked how the eye and the nose turned out. So anyway, um, this is also a good place to try and acquire.